I just been filling myself with so much negativity lately from the police brutality to like just the fucking racism and just so much shit and then I still have negative shit going on in my life <laughs> and I go by Marley and this is my son Noah say hey Noah, hey, Noah. <laughs> um I am 25 years old and I'm interested in trading because I'm hey y'all so this is just a really cute footage of me and Noah <laughs> I love this um I decided to keep this in here because um this is a very important part of my life now and this is my first introduction to forex so you know it's the memories i love it this is my introduction video telling them why i want to join their academy and even though i don't do the academy now um it was still interesting all right down here in the front too but i guess maybe those are That car is fucked up. Why they parked that way? Maybe to show that they fixed the car or something. We out looking for a car. Yeah. Say hey, Tiki. Yeah. My car broke down. So much, so much, so much. You want to car broke down? What has happened? What has happened? What didn't really break down, I guess. Mama. But my car is running hot. So, it's on the verge of working out. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel, Lilla versus E. What a thing to be is free, home girl, and I am looking about crazy. Thank you, baby. It's just so much to catch you guys up on, and I feel like I start to get in front of the camera and just automatically just start complaining. So we're going to try not to complain today. So much has changed. Not even in my physical 3D realm, but in my mental, so much has changed. Which I'm pretty sure you guys probably guessed that already if you follow my videos. Okay, we have finally left the house. Our, our room. Because we've been staying in a hotel, motel, holiday inn, whatever the fuck you want to call it for the past couple of weeks i supposed to say days weeks it's been some things going on with my credit something's going on with my car so i'm not gonna be on my phone um that much my car's been running hot it's running hot three times i got it fixed twice and it's been hundreds of dollars it's been hundreds of dollars no baby no nope. It's been hundreds of dollars, so now I have to, um, and it's still, so I got broke again, but I'm going to go to a smaller place instead of going to the dealership this time, I'm going to go to a smaller place, and maybe get it fixed, get everything fixed on the car, and then decide if I want to sell it or not, and in the meantime, get me a new car. I've been looking at a few BMWs. I think I'm gonna go to BMW route because I can picture me and my baby in a BMW. And for all the valet I like to do, I definitely gotta do BMW because I hate doing B. I mean, I hate doing valet in my um, Nissan Altima. I don't know why, because my Nissan Altima is usually always dirty or whatever. And my Nissan Altima could be like my riding car. Because I don't know how much money I can actually get from this car. And then my BMW can be like my in-city car. So, I, um, yeah, so we're just on our way to the park. I might just do a little exercise, get Noah out the room, because we've been cooped up in there. I've just been busy trying to get things on a roll, you know, like, um, 
I've been splurging out so much money, but I had a lot of money saved before I came here. So I just need to make sure I find a place and make sure I'm first securing some more money. But I'm not worried about the money. Like, on a larger scale, I'm not worried about the money, but it's just my day-to-day. -day I get the worried about the shit. But on a larger scale, I know I just want me and Noah to be happy. And I want, um, I want us to be good. So, yeah, I don't know. So we take you guys along the ride. This is I'm taking you guys along the ride in the whole thing because y'all was here around the time last year when I was on some fucked up shit. And uh yeah, it's like something about these months where they're one, they're repetitive. Same thing happens over and over each year. And two, they're just like, I don't know. Hmm? Okay, hold on, we gotta go to the park. The mommy get some water. It's just everything. Gotta breathe in the prana. My teacher broke something down to me yesterday that makes so much sense. That at first I was looking at prana as in like air, even though I knew prana meant life force. I was just looking at it as if they were just saying air. But no, it's actually life force. Think about the word life force. Don't downplay the word. Like, give it all the power that, is, that it has. What gives your body life? That was kind of deep to me. I am so ecstatic that I moved to Florida. I'm in Florida for everyone who's like, where is this girl go? I am officially in Florida. So much life out here that I feel like Charlotte was missing. Um, I'm alone. And I say this lightly because I was saying this the other day how alone I am, but I'm not alone. And I keep downplaying my spirit guides and my ancestors and my angels and they say shit like that because they're right here with me you're not alone don't ever say that you're alone you're never alone and i don't mean that in a scary way i mean that in a very uplifting way i've been seeing the 33 333 111 everywhere that's all i know the situation is just temporary <laughs> Wait till you finish eating because they're gonna get sticky again. <laughs> you wash your hands when you finish eating, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? My eye crying. Your eye crying. Y'all, we literally just pulled up outside. It's about to start raining out here. I'm tired as hell. We just ran around this building. 
Tora's arms. See, no, I auto, I auto monster. Mommy, you want me to look at some Mommy. imaginary Mommy. monster? Mommy, I auto monster. Oh. Oh, can you, Mom? Hmm. Can you? Mm-hmm. No. Mommy, oh no face. Stop. Mommy, I do not like when you touch my face. Don't touch my face, Mommy, okay? Do you hear me? Mommy, look at me. Do you hear me? Don't touch my face. And don't put that on your face. Do you hear me? Don't touch my face. Mommy, I need to go to house. I need to go to house. You ready to go in the house? Mm-hmm. You hot? Yeah. Come here. All right, we got to go in the house. Thank God he want to go. We're back in the house. All right, in the room. Eating pretzel. It's about 6 something. I'm about to put in all the bed in a little bit. Good morning, everyone. This is day three of my vlog. I got on the same thing as yesterday. I've been up since 5 this morning, working on stuff, and then being on my phone. Shh. I did record a video that I will post today. Actually, about to edit it now. Um, Noah's still asleep. It's about 8 something now. And he should be up in a little bit so we can get our day started. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I hope these vlogs aren't boring. Okay, there's a lizard in this hotel room, and I'm, like, freaking out. It's a bat. It's a baby. I don't want to hurt it. And I was trying to get it while Noah was in the shower, but it seems like he is now coming out. Baby, stay in there for a second, okay? I don't. Wait. I said it's a baby. No, I go, what? It's a baby in your stomach? No. Mm -hmm. today that said you are not alone and like when I make these inspirational videos because I forgot messages before take the things that I say with a grain of salt meaning don't like you can listen to it it's not put out there to steer you wrong but don't think just because I say these things that my life is fucking perfect because I receive messages like just different messages, especially on other platforms that people put me on like a high horse as if I have like so much control of my emotions and different things like that. Like life still happens to you and life is always going to happen to you no matter how much quote unquote control you have of it. There's still things out there that you do that you simply just cannot control and like even I feel lonely sometimes, even though I know that I am not alone. I know deep down that I'm not alone, but I can't get over that feeling of just being of like just internal, like deep, not just like on the surface, but like just deep, 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 deep internal depression that like, I mean, I don't want to say nothing that's going to put me in a fucked up position, but it's just different things that you have to remember. I come from a history of depression. Like, I've had depression since I've stepped on this fucking planet. Since I could realize what the fuck was going on. Not, not in the world, but just in my fucking surroundings. I've always been depressed. And I did better. You know. I did. I did a lot better. Like... When I got to college, or not when I got to college, but after my, I like to call it my first official suicide attempt, which landed me in the action. Okay, so the lady came to clean the room, so 
Mm-hmm. Come on, now, and that makes me happy. My son told me the other day, I have... Hey, mommy. Hey, he think I'm recording. Hey, what's going on, mommy? Nothing much. You know, I'm just going to be crying all day. You gonna cry all day too? Mm-hmm. You gonna cry with mommy? You cry all day every day. So that ain't nothing. New. I'm not gonna raise my son to hate anybody. Because I, I see how hatred manifests uh internally when you think it's external, how it manifests internally. Because as above, so below. Outside, inside, like it's all the fucking same. And I have just been, I have just been shitted on when it comes to parents. Like when it comes to fucking parents, man. So that's I don't know. I'm just gonna sit. I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna meditate. And I did find this video the other day about breath work, and I didn't watch it, but I read the comments, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And one thing I'm going to practice now for this day four is I'm going to practice my own fucking boundaries and telling people what it is that they need to do if they're if they're going to be a part of my life, what they need to do, and that's some period. Well, here we are. I don't want to get out the elevator. And to make sure no one was right there by the elevator, but I feel a lot better now. I had to take a shower. Taking a shower, I feel a lot peaceful. Let me show you guys my room number. And that's what I'm hopeful about everything. I know that my situation is straight up temporary and that great things are happening to me. I am protected and I am guided. Though I have these little pains that I gotta go through in my daily life and as a whole, I am protected and provided. And there's nothing that can stop that. Well, of course I'm fucking crying again. But it doesn't matter because I'm still that bitch. And like I said, things will get better. And that's just the bottom line.